Alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Where I was messing around with Greg and uh Greg's cool guy. I uh he was in messenger and he watched me build this thing. And like I told him, I was like, I'm gonna need a shot of shine for this thing. So what better than Sugarland Shine Apple each and apple pie? That's right. <laughs> for the madman. Yes. Anyway, Greggy Poo. Okay. Greg, you watched me build this thing, okay, in, you know, in Messenger, piece by piece, okay, <laughs> all right, just to show you what was on the inside of it and what I do and all that other happy nonsense, and Greg, here it is, it's all done, man, okay, so I'll tell you what, we'll boot it up right now, okay, and then what I'm going to do is this thing's going to boot, I'm going to go ahead and set you up, the monitor right there, okay, Daniel, yeah, what's happening, man, good to see you, brother, what you been up to? Uh... I went ahead and I, I answered you in uh, Messenger, by the way, okay? When the rain gets back, we'll get it all squared away. No problems, brother. All right? So anyway, okay, we're booting up into FSD. Dash, we're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know that it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. There you are. All right? And uh, I'm going to have a sip of shine right now. Yes. Ooh, yes. Ooh. 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 Can you smell that? Boy, that smells so damn good. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that warms the cockles of my balls. Okay. Now, anyway, um, <laughs> not that I'm condoning drinking, although, you can't ask for much more. Some shine, an RGH, some mods, some friends. Life is good. All right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead. All right. I'm going to roll through this thing with you. Okay, Greg? So, here we go. All right. Under emulators, okay, you got FCUX, which is SNES emulator, all right, you got uh, SNES 360 emulator, you got MAME emulator, you got Genesis Plus 360 emulator, and you got Game Boy Advance emulator. There is a multitude of ROMs on there, have a blast with it if you're into the nostalgic old school games, all right? Xbox Classic Games, okay, you got some classic games on here, you got a 320 gig drive on this thing, so as you can see, you get a lot more than the 250, of course. All right, these are all the original games that we all know and love and play from the original Xbox. Then, of course, you got the homebrew section, okay? And that's where the tools reside, where you can blow the console up and do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, then, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade, all right? I'm going to read the mind-boggling amount of arcade games. Yes, it's should be busy for a while and then some. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, all right? Now, I'm going to roll through this with you, all right? As you can see, we start off with the Advanced Warfare and we work our way over. And as you can see, it's a little different from the 250 gig complement, all right? So on and so forth. There's your NCAA Football 14, completely modded with uh, college football revamped. Okay, and, uh, you know, we'll go on through and all the famous titles that we all know, love, and still play to this day, which is nuts. Okay? So anyway, there it all is. Okay? Now, we'll back out of here. Getting on over to the homebrew section, we will go to the original dashboard. We will hit it. We will hit it today again. And now it should give us a big square with your name on it. Okay? There you go. You can only have 30 reserve days left. You got it? Good. Okay. Bypass the sign in. You'll see it's up, it's online, it's live, of course. Alright? And, uh, yeah, there we are. Now, our eyeball pleasing HUD, and over in our fifth tab, we have our BO2 cheats, Ghost Cheats, Modern Warfare 3 Cheats, Modern Warfare 2 Cheats. To disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. They come enabled, let me start up the console. We will go back to FSD Dash now. Alright? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, I'm going to load a uh, local profile on here. Now, this is not an Xbox Live, per se. All right? But you, you load your own live profile on here, okay? And I don't mess around putting things online for, for people. You do that on your own, okay? So anyway, we'll go ahead. All right? We'll grab hold of a profile. And we'll sign in. Don't judge. Shut up. All right. Now, go to Xbox 360 Games. Let's do some mods, man. Let's do some mods, all right? Let's see here, we'll go to NCAA 14 football, here we go. We'll start that up, you will see it doesn't start up like the regular EA. Okay, it starts up like this. And it's loud ass stuff for these guys that slammed in the friggin' face. Yes. So anyway, alright. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna show you uh, Palestine and all that. It's got rosters on it, you can go to college football, revamp GitHub. Okay, just, just Google it, YouTube it, or whatever, okay, there's GitHub for college football revamp, okay? It's got everything on there, all the links to download, more rosters, and all that crap and everything. And if there's, a, if there's an update, which these guys do update this thing a lot, okay? This is the latest This is the latest version, okay? But they do update a lot, okay? The files are there for you to copy and paste on over here, and it'll be just fine, okay? So just keep up with that. We'll hit the start button. 
I like the hard drive. All right, the load might be good. And then I will give you a quick little tour of this thing. All right, and here you are. Okay, so of course we have uh, the Crimson Tide, of course. You know, I mean, so on and so forth. You got all that stuff that's all ready to go. All right, you got your dynasty. You got your Road to Glory. Okay, you got your ultimate team. You got your 2020 season team management settings. EA Sports Experts for College Football Revamp, and my NCAA Legacy. All right, so it's all there, ready to go. Put a live profile on it, get some gold, and you're good to go, man. Okay, so, we'll get out of here now. All right, and now we will go back to FSD Dash. That's how you can start it up and let it rip, skip, and bring it back. No problems. All right, so now, okay. There he is. All right, Justin, what's happening, man? Justin, you can uh, message me, man. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would do good in the 440, especially if we have a high compression engine. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Cold War menus, okay, are only available on PC, Mark. Okay, from what I understand, and that's how they're putting them online is through PC. Okay, unfortunately. So I can't do Cold War menus on this thing, okay? Uh, I mean, we'll have someone that is able to connect to it and do all that stuff. Greg, there you are, man. Good to see you, brother. All right. Now, okay. So anyway, we're back here. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Now that we showed that, I'm going to show you another little mod here. Okay. We'll go on over to, man, well, let's do GTA 5 for the hell of it. Change it up a little bit. Okay. Look. We'll go here. We'll hit that. We'll hit that. All right. Now I got a trial of uh, 4.0 on here, and it will also load 3.9. Two different menus, make sure you use two different controls to open it, okay? Uh, now, um, 4.0 is static, uh, it is right D-pad and push it on the right, right thumbstick down, bring that up, okay? Use left D-pad and X for 3.9, okay? So just hit A, Prime game's gonna start, it's gonna load up into a game save that I have done, alright? And then we will, uh, commence with semantics on this thing, okay? Just to show you what, where, how, and who. Greg, what you up to, man? Dude, I told you I was drinking shine, didn't I? Okay, there you go. Yes, I put your console together drunk. <laughs> so if you turn around and flush the toilet bowl, don't blame me. I don't want to hear it. Okay, so anyway. Okay, now look. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're going to boot into this game save here. Once we do that, then I'm going to go ahead. And then I'm going to show you the BO2 uh, menus and the cheats on that. And then we will commence to how to get it online for the first time. And all that other happy nonsense, okay? And I'm going to show you, of course, you know, the, um, well, XM360, uh, classic games, and also emulators, okay? So just bear with me as this thing loads, because it takes a little while for it to load. It's a big game, all right? And, you know, like I said, the old girl, I mean, she did what she could. And boy, I, I'm telling you, they pushed this thing to the <laughs> with this damn game, because the menu is so big. All right, now, well, not the menu, but the map, I should say, okay? So anyway, there's Purge 4.0. We'll close that out first, okay? We'll open up 3.9. That's the old menu right there. All right, got quick start options. Okay, we'll turn that on. We'll turn that on. We'll do this. And we'll turn all this on here. Whoop. Nah, I don't want that. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, we'll back out of here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the time back a little bit so that way we can see what the hell's going on here, okay? So, we'll minus a couple hours. There you go. All right, then we'll click out of there and we'll click out of there and then we'll get out of there. All right? And we'll go outside into the sunlight. Okay, there we are. Okay, yeah, my piece of crap car and my piece of crap bike. All mm -hmm. right, so now, yeah, 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 we know what you want to save. Okay, you want to save this. All right, so anyway, now, okay, let's open up 4.0. Okay, and what we'll do here, all right, we'll go to quick start options, turn on God mode. Now nah, we'll leave that off. Now nah, we'll leave that off. We'll turn that on. We'll turn this on, this on, this on, this on, and this on. Okay, now. Quick options, okay? Go off the radar when you're online. Slow-mo, clean pad, invisible pad, invisible vehicle, all right? Slow-mo uh, slows down a bit, all right? Pretty much that's self explanatory. Drone mode, a lot of fun here, okay? Pretty much you can highlight teleport and you can teleport your guy anywhere you want, okay? You can teleport him to the neighbor's house here looking in the windows and that way you can see the freaking broad stripping down, getting ready to take a shower, okay? Well, we'll put him back over here for right now, okay? Because I don't feel like dealing with it as a peeping Tony. All right, so anyway, there you go. Now, air superiority, self-explanatory, check mark it off, target something, RB, and pretty much that works pretty good, okay? And then you can get them all, all over the game, like, all, all up, you know, get them, that's fast missiles, by the way, okay? 
Wait, you can't get away. You can't get away. And then of course we have slow missiles too. If you're watching going in, see? And you're all color key and everything. Smoke, fire, flames, and all that kind of good stuff. And you can get rid of your own car. You can get rid of a motorcycle. You can get rid of everybody else's car. You guys, you can blow people up on the street. You can blow yourself up, even though you're in God mode. But still in yet, there you go. Okay? Air superiority. In a nutshell. Alright? RC car mode. If you're in a car, you go to drone mode, you can uh, select RC car mode and control the car from above. Okay? Uh, creator mode. All kinds of good stuff there. Vehicle spawner, where you can spawn vehicles. Uh, such as, let's see here, you put that there and there and there and there and we put it up on a rooftop and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, let's not overload the memory too much, okay? There you go. Alright? So anyway, now we got a bunch of, mm, bunch of freaking junkyard cars there, okay? Back out of there, back out of there, alright? And, uh, we'll turn off creator mode now, okay? And then we'll go ahead, we'll get out of drone mode for right now, okay? There we are. And there, there is me, okay? My player. Okay, look at the, you know, you got your wallet balance, your health, your armor, your heading, all that crap. See, it all changed, see what I'm saying? Okay? All players. If you go to all players on, in an online section, you can see what they're doing, where they're going, and all that happy nonsense. Back out of there. Teleport locations, okay? Stash your current location. We can stash it. It'll keep it. And you can turn the console off, turn it back on, there it will be. Okay? Then, of course, you have all the places to teleport, okay, within Los Santos and all that kind of good stuff. And sometimes out of Los Santos, too. And areas that you don't want to teleport to, okay? So anyway, pretty much there you go. We'll back out of there. Recovery options, that's for online, okay? You can't use them in story mode, okay? Character options, yes, you can uh, stash your current pet variation. You can do the model changer where you can change what he looks like, okay? Like, I can become a sheriff, security, but I like being a stripper because, brother, I can rock a freaking, I can rock a thong and a set of thigh highs like you ain't never seen before. Look at that ass. Even a dog likes me, okay? So anyway. Yeah, we'll back out of there now. We'll back out of there. Okay, yeah, component prop editor where you can edit everything. You remove props, reset appearance, restore uh, default components, your face, your mask, your hair, your legs, special one, two, and three, texture, torso, hats, glasses, so on. And there's sub, sub menus underneath there too. Okay, so, you know, it's got a ton of stuff on there. All right? And of course, you got the genealogy there. That's where you can blend the head data and the head shape and the skin tone and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so. You can give him, you can give him a dildo, okay? I mean, you do whatever you want. It's all good. Okay, I'm not telling you to do that, but you can't, okay? Animations. You got a ton of animations on there. Ambient, fluid animations, scenarios that you can put them in, okay? Or her in, or anybody else that you want to put in, okay? And now what we'll do is we'll restore the original, okay? There we go. Yes, there I am. Back to normal now, okay? So anyway, there you are. All right, now we'll back out of here, okay? Pet options, pet spawner. Pretty much self-explanatory. It, it, it spawns, spawns all kinds of whatever you want, okay? And you know I, I like to rock some strippers, so let's rock some strippers here, okay? There we go. Now I got a freaking harem here, okay? See? There you go. Even the lost hoe and the lost slut, okay? And the hoe with the skirt up. Yeah. Okay? So, there you go. All right? All ready to go, okay? Now, if you want to, okay, you can go to Spawn Ped Manager, and you can, you, you can eliminate a ped, do whatever you want. There's an arrow pointing down which one you're uh, selecting right here. See, we can go back. There we go. We'll get rid of uh, this one right here, okay? We'll hit that. We delete the pay. Boom. Gone. Okay? So on and so forth, all right? Now, vehicle options, that's pretty much your armor, your paint palettes, you know, your paints, all that crap. All right? Los Santos Customs, that's to spawn a, uh, a car or whatever, okay? Then, of course, we have weapons option, which is my favorite. One of them happens to be the gravity gun. Move out of the way, bitch. I'm about to show these people something here, okay? Then grab hold of a car, like that. Now, pretty much, throw it up in the air, bring it down, bring it around, smash it into stuff, bring it back to you using the RB button. See, here it comes. There it goes. I think I just killed some of my hookers, I'm not sure. And so on and so forth. Dad, shut up. Stop running away. Okay, and then once you're done with the weapon, then I just throw it up in the air and let it go. See? And there it goes, okay? Pretty much you can do anything you want. You can even, uh, let's say, grab hold of a stripper, see? And then you throw her up in the air, you know, use her as a weapon, okay? When she doesn't when she doesn't bring you your money from her uh, duties, well, guess what? You throw her away, bring her back, you know? Beat her into the ground, whatever you want to do. See? Works good. Also, yep, see? Works real good. And, See? Knocks cars over and everything. See? She's whipping around there. And then once you're done with the bitch because she didn't give any money, just throw her up in the air. She'll come down. See? There she comes. Yep, there she goes. Bloop! That's it. Okay? So that works real good. Okay? Now, 
When in doubt, you can use the stripper plunder, okay? Which actually works real good for killing people, cars, and everything else that you can imagine, and then some, okay? And uh, you can turn on the gravity gun, and then they, then you can gain some velocity on them like that. And you knock strippers over if you want, see? So on and so forth, see? And you bring it back, run around, trip up the other one, bring her back. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> and uh, pretty much once you're done with her, yeah, get rid of her. There you go. Okay, works good. Now, that's with the gravity gun on. With the gravity gun off, eh, just throw them around and, you know, whatever it is you want to do. See? Works real good. What else talking in the background, huh? You need to shut up. See? Work, work real good. See? Knock cars over. Yeah. Ooh, that one hurt. Yeah, I am a disgrace to society, aren't I? So anyway, there you go, all right? Here's Tony Stripper Pointer. Okay? Now, if you want the force field, yeah, just turn that on and pretty much anything that you walk by will get blown the fuck up. All right? Except for God mode cars, okay? They don't get blown up or anything like that. But anything else, yeah, okay? So, there's your weapon options right there. Then, of course, you got Miss... You mother boy, if you work... Mm. Okay, got your missed options, protections, menu options, okay? It's moving the menu around, all that kind of good stuff, so on and so forth, so on. There you go, all right? Then, of course, you got creator mode. That's to do debug, debug lines, aim lock on, pen reactions, show tagged entity info card, uh... Raycast uh, debug mode, all that crap, you know, for raycasting, flags, original offset, trace method, all that crap. There's a ton of stuff on there. I mean, half of it, I, I don't even know what the hell it is, okay? So anyway, have fun with that. Then you got my stash stuff, where once you stash stuff, it will be here, okay? You can turn the console off, turn it back on, it'll still be there, okay? And then, of course, you got your beta option, you enable a friend for a second, that's Perch 4.0 in a nutshell. A lot of stuff on there. Stuff I haven't even touched on because it's on because it's not online, okay? So, you know, there's other stuff in there, too. You'll see. So, anyway, we'll bring this back. We're done with that. Hope you like that, okay? That was fun. <laughs> like I said, when in doubt, throw a stripper about it, okay? It's all good. <laughs> Ooh, that shine is good. Mm. All right. So, anyway, now what's going to happen is we're going to boot back up into FSD, all right? And then what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you a couple of the mods for BO2 and our all posts, all right? The all posts are the same for all of the uh, games that were mentioned in the guide. All right. However, though, all right, with the all post, D pad left to open, X to select, B to back out, D pad left to close it. All right. Now, BO2 has G and Sentinel, the GSC menus that were injected into the uh, into the game itself. So therefore, they're with that game specifically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to work that. Okay. So anyway, we'll go over to Xbox 360 games now, and uh, let's see here. We'll find uh, BO2. Yep, there it is. We'll hit it, hit it again. Boom. There you go. All right. Now, start up. Here we go. Black Ops 2 is bypassed. We're good. All right. And then what's going to happen is we'll start the tile screen, and then we'll go into multiplayer. Okay? So just bear with me as I deal with the stupid Dolby logo from hell. All right? And here we go. Okay? Start. And we'll hit start again. And we'll hit the hard drive again. And now what we'll do is we'll go to multiplayer, okay? Now, with Jiggy, by the way, you have to force the host when you're online in order to have the menu, okay? With the off host, you don't have to do that, all right? So if you have the off host enabled, it will work at any time when you're online. But with Jiggy, you have to force the host, okay? So, you know, I'll show you where that is anyway, just so you know. Okay, we'll do a local game. All right, we'll set up some stupids. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. All right. And we'll start the match, okay? Jiggy, holding left trigger, push down and right thumbstick. X to select, I mean A to select, X to back out, okay? And like I said, for the off host, D-pad left to open it, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close it. We'll start the game here, all right? And we'll also show you where Force Host is, okay? Just so you know. All right, so we're starting off in Nuketown. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to pick a gun. Now, I'm going to hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, there's Jiggy. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to main mods, quick mods, and that's going to give me god mode and all that stuff. I'm going to hit X to back out of there, okay? Now, like I said, host only. Force host, okay? you got to hit that. you got to force the host when you're online, okay? That's simple, all right? So we'll back out of there. Now, what I'll do is I'll go down to bullets, and... We'll get some storms and some grenades, we'll get some explosive bullets, we'll get some hunter killers, we'll get some RPGs, yeah, we'll get some APO, well, fair package gun, yeah, so, yeah, but I want to see your rockets, okay, and then we'll add some hair of the dog, life is good, okay, then we'll back out of there, alright, we'll back out of there, 
Now, the off post, D-pad left. See, it opens. X to select. Turn all this crap on here, okay? Go to the aim bot menu. Turn that on. Go to on screen. We'll do this. Go to ESP. We'll turn that on. All right. This, this, and this. And then this, okay? Now, we'll exit out of the menu. Stand up. D-pad left. Here we go. When it turns blue, let him have it. Okay? And as you can see, it all works very, very well. We'll get above the ground here. Alright? We'll get a good vantage point right here. And we need to start blowing stuff up like you ain't never seen before, okay? And it works all pretty damn good, as you can see. Now, to become a complete penis with fingers, open up Jiggy, go to the aimbot menu, go to unfair aimbot, and now you don't even have to aim this whole both triggers in and let it rip skip. Okay? In Victory's mind, you just piss off the entire lobby. Nobody will play with you anymore. They hate you and they're going to report your profile. <laughs> so, there you go. Alright? Don't do what I do online. Please don't do that. Okay? Just, just don't. Alright? It's one thing to have a little bit of fun, but it's another thing when you start pissing people off. Okay? <laughs> There's no skill in this. Okay? Oh, the doggy's about to get fried. Alright. So anyway, we're done here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here. Okay? We'll back out of there. Yes. And then we'll back out of here, and we'll open up zombies, okay? And we'll go direct to the zombie. Zombies use the sentinel menu, okay? Hold on, left trigger, push down the right thumbstick to open it. X to select, push on the right, uh, right thumbstick to back out of the sub-menu or the menu itself, okay? Do a local game real quick. All right, we'll kill that 19 infected earth. Yes, there we go, we'll kill that 19 infected zombies. All right, there we go, transit, original, start the match, okay? Now, you're gonna see instructions pop up over here, all right? Just, you can just follow them or refer back to this video one way or the other. You'll get used to it, believe me. It's just a matter of time, but you'll get used to it, I promise. Okay? Now. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty. Now, we're loaded. Good. Okay. We'll open up the menu right there. Extra select. We'll turn God mode on. Infinite ammo on. Okay. Limited sprint. Double speed. No clips. All that crap. Let's get these lights okay. on, people. Pedal aim button. Alright. Now. Hitting the right thumbstick. There you go, it backs out. Okay, now, weapons menu. We'll go down to X. Okay, we're going to go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to a couple of my favorites here. Which is the symbol. Oh, you got to have that. For you, you stupid tank stumblers. And then I got uh, a fully automatic RPG. Okay, now, when in doubt, just throw out one of these little bastards right here. They work real good, I promise you, okay? You know, I mean, they just like, they, they, they keep the zombies busy. See? See? There you go. See, look at the monkey. Look at the monkey. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Look at the little monkey. Clap, little monkey. Clap. Yes. <laughs> yes, ain't you cute? <laughs> okay. And when you want to, all you gotta do is, you know, just do some uh, fully automatic RPG. And you pretty much can lay out everything that you could ever imagine and then some, okay? So anyway, as you can see, that works pretty good. All right. Now, uh, you know, I, I'm going to back out of here, okay? And uh, we can go to, uh, let's see here. Ah, we'll add some zombies. We'll see what happens if I, if I can blow up the menu or whatever. There we go. Ah, we'll give him a little one of these. There you go. There you go. There you go. Huh? Huh? Go play with the monkey. Play with the monkey. Yeah, look at the monkey. Look at him go, huh? Look, he's playing music and everything. Isn't that nice? Ooh, yeah. Oh, look, more of them. <laughs> so, anyway, pretty much, there you go, okay? So, you got all kinds of good crazy stuff on there. All right? I'm going to bring that back. Okay. Lots of fun with that, okay? I wish I had those monkeys in real life. I really, really, really do. All right? So anyway, you know. Okay, look. Here's what we're going to do. Okay? Now. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time. Very important. Please pay attention to this, Greg. So then that way, then you're not ripping your hair out. Okay? So anyway. All right. When you first get this crazy thing, power console, don't power it on. Okay? Leave it off. Okay? What I want you to do, I want you to go in here. Okay? Get this friggin' thing out of my way. Alright, I want you to grab hold of this tab right here. I want you to pull on the hard drive. By the way, this is a 320. It says 250. The shells come with all different kinds of tags. So, I mean, I'm like, whatever. So, just to let you know. Alright? Now, anyway, pull the hard drive on it. Now, boot the console up. Okay? Get your controller ready and all that stuff. When the console boots, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through getting this thing online for the first time. Console booted. Life is good. Here we go. Alright? Now, look. We're going to boot up to the stock dashboard because all the fancy stuff is on the hard drive, okay? So, we just want the stock dashboard for right now, all right? We're going to boot up into that. There we go. Up, over, settings, system, network. Network settings, okay? Now, look. Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here. 
I want you to click on it and put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's. That's what you need to have. Okay? Really, I don't care. Well, I care about this one. I don't want it. I, I don't want that connecting to live. Okay? That one I don't care about. Okay? But most important one, right there. Okay? Make sure you have a check mark on that network. Okay? Otherwise, if you can't get to your router, you're not getting to the internet. You sure as hell ain't getting Xbox Live. All right? So in plain English, check mark two red X's. That's all you need, okay? Once that's done, power the console off. Alright? Then, take out hard drive, slip it back in, okay? Grab the drive door, put it on. Nice and easy. No, I don't want to eject. No, no, no. Shut down, shut down. Okay. Now, pull the power cord on this thing. Leave the power cord out for five minutes, okay? you got to leave it out for five minutes. Do not just plug it in and go. Your DNS will be all screwed up. You won't get on Xbox Live. You get to everywhere else but Xbox Live, okay? So, we're trying to get to Xbox Live. So, leave this out. Five minutes, okay? After five minutes is up, plug it back in. Now, mind you, this bit me in the ass this morning, okay? When I plugged it back in, and guess what? I still had to wait the freaking five minutes, even though my network settings were correct, okay? So, it's a crapshoot, all right? So, I'm praying to God that it does connect to live, okay? So, here we go. Now, we'll power it back on. After five minutes, that thing is out. Plug it in. Go. Here we go. Boot it up. There she goes. One shot, one kill. Life is good. Alright. Now, you'll see the green stuff moving around. Once that green stuff stops moving around, okay, that means it locked the server, which it just did. Fan speed will kick up. FSD is going to load. Plugins are going to come across the screen. And there we go. And welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more, <clears throat> which is a good sign because now we're on the internet. Okay? And then we're going to get all the purge. Okay, life is good. Now, what you're going to do, go over to the homebrew section right here. We're going to make sure that we're on live. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit the A button, hit it again. Okay? Now, the square should pop up. Thank God it did. You'll have 30 days, I promise. Don't worry. It's, yeah, don't worry. Okay? Anyway, there you are. You're on Alliance. That's good. When you get that square popped up, that means she's hot. She's good to go to Xbox Live. Okay? Got it. Good. Now, what I want you to do, do not use your retail profile on this damn thing. It is a modified bootloader. Okay? And if I would say your profile will never get banned, that's a lie. All right, because anybody can report your profile. If you're doing crazy stuff and everything, they're going to see it. And once they see it and it's reported, well, guess what? They'll ban your profile, okay? So if you've got a retail profile that you spent money on and everything, don't put it on the stamp thing. You can mod your profile from a, from a modder's account, okay? You don't have to put it on here, okay? So just a word to the morning, all right? If you want to put it on there, hey, by all means, go ahead, you know? But I'm just telling you, be prepared. If that thing gets banned, don't be sad, okay? Because... Sometimes, if you're going to play, you're going to pay too. Okay, you know, I mean, what am I going to tell you, okay? So anyway, what you're going to do, go to xboxlive.com slash live on your PC, make an account on there, okay? Use that look for the email credentials. When you're done with that, come back here, download your profile. If it downloads correctly, what it's going to do, it's going to look like this. You're going to spin it around, you're going to see the spinning circle of death, the thing's going to get on live, the profile's going to wave at you, and off she goes. Okay? Life is good. You signed in. Now, if it didn't do that, and you're sitting at the downloading screen for like 15 minutes, well, it ain't going to download because it got corrupted. So, what are we going to do? We're going to fix it, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to hit beat it back out of that download screen. Then you're going to come up over here. You're going to go up over settings, system, and then you're going to go to storage, okay? Now, storage, okay? Highlight the hard drive, okay? Because there's nothing on the internal memory, all right? Go to profiles. Underneath this profile is where your profile is going to be, Okay? You're going to hover down to it, highlight it, hit A, delete it right off the hard drive. Just get rid of it because it's no good. It's corrupt, okay? Once you're done there, back out of there, back out of there, back out of there. Leave the hard drive highlighted, hit Y, clear the system cache, do it twice. That's once, and then one more time, and that's twice, and there you go, and it's cleared, okay? Life is good. Now, what you do, back out of here, back out of here, all right? Up, over, social, sign in, sign out. Go back to download profile and download the profile. It should work fine, okay? Once that's done and you're all good, hit the guide button. Xbox Home, bring it back to FSD Dash. Now, XM360, unlocking DLC and XBLA. If you don't unlock the stuff, it will not work. You will not have downloadable content online. You won't have any of that crap. You won't be able to play anything, and it just becomes a nightmare, okay? That's why they made this tool. You're going to go to the homebrew section right here. Go to XM360, hit A, hit A. All right, it's going to build a, uh, a content list of all of the XBLA and all the downloadable content that's on the hard drive, okay? 
once it builds all that and everything, then you're going to have the opportunity to unlock it, all right? The security feature that was put in by Microsoft that they thought they were cute and it didn't work because somebody wrote this program and next thing you know, everything is all unlockable, okay? So, anytime you're downloading downloadable content or, uh, you know, XBLA and you put it on this hard drive, make sure that you come here and unlock it because if you don't, you're not going to be able to play it, okay? The game will not play right without this stuff unlocked, okay? So, what do we do? This is a one-shot deal, by the way, okay? It, it, you know, once you get it and everything, but after you download new XBLA or new or, or new uh, DLC, please come here and unlock this stuff, okay? Otherwise, it ain't going to work. So we're going to go on over, okay? We'll hit unlock XBLA, all right? Okay, zero files are unlocked, okay? That's because they're already unlocked for this profile, okay? Life is good, all right? Show DLC. Now, let's grab hold of all the downloadable content, all right? And... You know, you see, you've got the padlocks over here. They're all unlocked already. So life is good. So we'll go on over, unlock TLC. We'll just make sure that it's all unlocked. There might be some files on here that are unlocked. Don't know. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, and unlock 20 DLC files, okay? So that was 20 DLC, you, you know, that's needed by the game, okay, in order to play online that wasn't unlocked, which means you wouldn't have been able to play the game right, okay? So anyway, there you go. Now, once that's done, exit the dash. Now you can feel free to roam and go crazy and do whatever it is that you want to do with this crazy thing, okay? Pretty simple, all right? Now, okay, as far as emulators, they all work the same way, buddy, okay? Uh, just go on over to emulators, all right? Pick an emulator. Yeah, we'll use main for, for example here. It's got a lot of games on it, all right? It'll load up. There it is, okay? Your right trigger will go page by page going down, okay? As you can see. There's a ton of games on there, all the old school stuff, all right? And page by page going up, left trigger, D-pad down, D-pad up, okay? Hey, to launch the game, follow the on-screen instructions, off you go. Y options, that's for, you know, if you have an external hard drive that you want to set a path on for more ROMs that you have downloaded and they can't fit on this hard drive, well, you can do that and put it on a USB hard drive, okay? All right, you got lots of all kinds of good stuff on here, all right? So anyway, once you're done with main or you're done with the emulators, hit the guide button, Xbox Home. Or it'll give you an option to back out the menu and shut it down that way. Now, FSD Dash, it'll come back up. There you are. Now, classic games, you cannot play with this in online mode. All right? It will crash the console. You will get a big black screen. Just like if you go here and you try to uh, run this, well, we'll run it. And as you can see, we have a big black screen. doesn't do a damn thing. Not cool. All right? So how do we play these old school games? Well, it's very easy. You power off the console. All right? And then what you do? If you power it back on, you hit eject, leave the train hanging out until you reach FSD dash. We're putting the system in bypass mode, so we're bypassing plugins 2 through 5. XBDM will still be a, uh, will still be active, so that way you can get on the local area network on this thing with a computer, and you can transfer files back and forth and do all this kind of crazy stuff and everything else, okay? So the console's going to boot, all right? Now, okay. Now, once we get to FSD dash, we're going to close the train, okay? Give it a second here. You'll notice no plugins come across the screen, no nothing. You're not online. You're not on, you know, on external internet or anything like that, okay? So anyway, there we go. All right. We made it to the dashboard. Now we can close the tray. There we go. All right. You'll notice that this thing also has an IP. That's your local area network IP, okay? It's not your public IP. That's your local area network IP, all right? So we have an IP there, uh, 192.168.1.32, all right? I'm going to explain that in a second here. All right, now. We'll take up a controller, okay, and then we'll fly on over to Xbox Classic Games, all right, and then we'll grab hold of a classic game, we'll hit it, start it up, off it goes, okay, as you can see, we have the logo, life is good, it's going to load, it's going to start, and it's going to play, all right, that's simple, but like I said, all these classic games have got to be in bypass mode in order to play them, okay, there you are, all right, when you're done with the classic game, hit the guide button, Xbox Home, yes, and when you're done with classic games, remember, if you want to play Xbox 360 games online, power the console off and power it back on to take it out of bypass mode. Otherwise, you're not going to get online, all right? Now, another thing about transferring content and files and all that crap, okay, I use FTP. I use uh, WinSCP as a client on uh, Windows 10, all right? Now, you can use WinSCP. If you have Linux, you can use FileZilla. If you have a phone, you can go to the Play Store, all right? pick up an FTP client, all right, and you're able to hook to this thing, okay, because it's got FTP built into it. Just like you can also download download Xbox 360 Neighborhood and hook to the console that way. Also, various tools go from your PC to the console, okay, 
kind of like um, you know if you like use an RPC or XDRPC or whatever. Okay, you can connect. There's there's programs out there that allow you to manipulate stuff online. Okay, you know, and the game itself. Okay, so just so you know. All right. Now look, if you want to transfer files back and forth to this thing, or you want to or, or you want to copy a KV or whatever. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. All right. This is our IP address, 192.168.1.32. Alright, now I'm going to swap this over to my PC. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up WinSCP. Okay, so we go ahead, we go to Windows, yeah. Ah, here we go. Alright, and we'll go to uh, WinSCP. There we go. Click on it, it'll open up. Okay, that's my hard drive that's there, that's on the, that, that's, you know, that's on my computer. Okay, we're going to choose the pro, we're going to choose the protocol FTP, file transfer protocol. Okay, our host name, 192.168.1.32. Okay, now, you use port 21, username is going to be Xbox, password is going to be Xbox. Okay, now, if everything is right, you log in, should connect, reading directory, there's a hard drive that's on our Xbox, okay? We'll hit HGD1, alright, there's your con, there's all your, there's your cache, compatibility, content, emulators, freestyle, games, homebrew, Okay, all that and, and the stuff that's in the root folder like RPC and, and XDRPC and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, and there's your KV.bit. Okay, if you want, if you have a USB stick that you have plugged into your computer, well, let's say you pop it in there. Okay, right, and it comes up over here. All right, let's say you want to copy a file. Grab hold of the file right here, click on it, hold it, bring it over here, and then what it'll do, it'll copy it right on over. Okay, transferred, boom, there's the file right there. Okay. Then you delete the file, like this, delete, okay, done. And then it'll delete it and get rid of it. So, you know, pretty much easy manipulation, okay? You know, your content folder for XBLA and downloadable content right here. And, of course, you're going to have all your title media IDs and all that. Okay, that's the, that's the actual game and the actual title, title ID number, okay? So, you know, there you go. So back up out of there. There you go. All right, back out of there. And there, now, you, now you're back on the root of the folder right there. And then, of course, you have this. Please stay away from the flash. Do not go in there and delete stuff, okay? If you do, you will render the NAND useless. And then what will have to happen is you have to send it back to me to unbrick it, okay? So please do not mess around in the flash, okay? Flash is off limits, guys, all right? So there you go. Unless you know what you're doing... But uh, if you change, try to change anything in there, it, it ain't gonna happen. All right. So you know it's protected, and uh, I, you, I I've seen people delete stuff out of the flash. It wasn't good. Okay. So don't do that. All right. So anyway, that's how you get to this thing. You know, remotely. Okay. And if you notice here, you'll see when I swap this over, you'll see at the bottom of the screen FTP connected, which means my my computer is connected to this Xbox. All right. So there you go. So listen, Greg. Listen, brother. I want to thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right? You guys, I, like I said, I, I really do appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you, Greg, and I'm glad that I was able to do this for you. I hope you like it. I hope that the video was informative. Okay? And uh, like I said, we're going to ship it off and get it done to you. Okay? So don't worry about that. We'll have a tracking number for you by tomorrow. All right? So anyway, guys, listen. Thanks for hanging with me. I greatly do appreciate it. Guys, you all have a good one. I'll let you later. i got a lot more to do. Okay? i got a lot more... Uh, uh, a lot more shine to drink, too. <laughs> Somebody's going to get a backwards Xbox. Anyway, y'all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later.